Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes. Let me take you on a tour of this latest titanium that we've completed. This is on the 4x4. It's going to be the last of the V6 models that we produce. So going forward, and the customers that have got ones on order know this, we've got the new four-cylinder high-output engine with nine-speed auto all-wheel drive. So that'll be the new standard for us. So you've got the long wheelbase high roof fan. This is in the silver colour, iridium silver. Now one's going forward, standard in the tenor right grey. So we've added a few little options here. They've got the leather seats, which looks really nice. So going around the outside, we've got the electric step here. Got the outside fold down table. This is all standard equipment. You've got your outside lights. There and there. That's all controlled from the red arc system. Try and look when we go inside. So these are on the 419, so it's got single wheels at the back, a 4.1 ton GBM, around 600 kilos of payload. And obviously the graphics are up to the customer. They've gone for the more simple design on the outside with the nice blue highlights, which I like. So the sprinter we get with the swivel seats the larger fuel tank, it's a 93 litre fuel tank, and the 360 camera system and a couple of little things as well, so we get that all genuine. I've added a tow bar, which is cool. Some in the back here. Got your storage. So they've got the fly screen there as well. You can see the awning tools up the top here, and here, for the manual awning. Got the solar screens. That's for the front cab, and you've got this drawer set up as well, which will have all the tow gear and hoses and stuff in it. Now you can see they're actually using this drawer for one of its design purposes. The generator in there. So this drawer will also house one of the CFX28 Dometic fridges, if you like. You've got 12 volt sockets there, got a light, 240 volt outlet. That's all well set up, ready to go. Hopefully there's not too much background noise guys on this one. There's some people around making some noise today. You can see the way we do the colouring here, just to give it that nice two-tone effect. So you've got the moulded fiberglass lockers here. This one's got the two four kilo gas bottles in it. It's a nice and secure Manual changeover valve, all beautifully finished. Really nice. With the Dometic Deluxe windows, the double glazing, black fly screens and block out lines. Power inlet. The SOG ventilation system. So this helps get rid of any smells from your toilet so you don't get anything inside. Got access to the toilet cassette here see the hose there for the ventilation. These are a great cassette. They've got the wheels and the handle so you can wheel it along a suitcase. You've got your water inlet so 110 litres of fresh water, 90 litres of grey and the town pressure entry as well there. See more windows. It's just a great looking van. They've added the bull bar on the front. At the moment my general advice is I try and talk people out of bull bars. The latest radar Cruise systems seem to cause some issues with those. Got the awning on top. So these power system wise guys got 330 watts of solar. The latest specs will include a 200 amp hour lithium battery from Enerdrive and the Red Arc uh, battery management system and digital switching. Just like what we use in our big ones. So they've got the fly screen here as well, which is a really good option to add. They've got the champagne colour cabinetry. Which is nice. So they haven't gone the two-tone. Normally these have a two-tone where like around the shower will be a different colour and a few of the other highlights. They've just gone all the one colour. Still all the solid stainless steel latches that we always use. The top of the range plum. Cabinetry hardware, beautifully integrated range hood. We've got the window blinds, full block out line. 
the uh, fly screen there. So it's a black fly screen too, which is nice. Lots of bench space. So with the design of this model, obviously in Sprinter vans, there's a few of them out there that you'll see. They've gone for the single bed variation here. The um, What we were trying to achieve was lots of bench space, lots of storage, and an easy workable layout for people to actually live in and use. And then you'll see other layouts and they've added chairs and they've added these. Generally this is, just works. So the cooktop, there's been a slight change to the cooktop and sink in the last six months. So it's now a two burner, a bit more room around the burners. Even that's one less burner, it's actually more room around that, which is good. Still got that ease of washing and stuff there, which I like. And then we've got that too, you end up with more free bench space there too. So the fridge, even though it's an under-counter model, it's the largest under-counter model you can get, it's quite deep. I might not quite see it there on the video, but it's 136 litres. It's the CFX1, or CRX140, I should say. Again, like always, top of the range, Blum cabinetry hardware. These beautiful sides here. Undermount runners. Got the, foil, uh, the um, cutlery tray with the non-slip surface there. All really nicely finished. Also closed. As long as the cabinet's closed, it's locked. Nice big drawers, look how deep they are. So they're 550 mil deep, very big drawers. So if we look over this side, we've got the microwave integrated here. Again, more draw space. You'll find anything low in all our designs. We always try and use drawers, so you're not having to open cupboards and bend down to get stuff. This is in the wardrobe now. So nice big drawer in the bottom of that. Got your TV on top, and that's on a swivel. So you don't have to do anything else when you travel. Basically just wherever it sits, it'll be fine. Nice big solid bracket there. Bit of adjustability on the angle and stuff too. Got your red arc screen here, which I don't know if you'll see in the reflection. There you go. So that monitors your battery level, water level, and you turn things on and off. There's an app on your phone for this as well. So you can be outside, you can be in bed all that through there. All right, in the wardrobe, a little hidey hole space there. Got your TV socket and the hanging rail that comes out. Again, all nicely finished. Top of the range integrated hinges and those nice soft blocks. Got your stereo here. There's speakers up under the overhead cupboards at the back. We've added the air conditioner. That's the um, Dometic Harrier light. Is perfect in this size. Got your bedside table in between. Water service control down there. Another power point. Again, it's a good bedside storage space there. Either side of the bed, you've got dual USBs, little reading lights, and again the windows. They've added the Sirocco fan. There's towel hangers. Under here, you've got your battery system, which we can see. I mentioned that before. It's got the Red Arc battery management system and inner drive 200 amp hour battery. Going back towards, I'll have a look at the bathroom. So it's an integrated shower and toilet unit, which really in this size vehicle makes sense. I know there's a couple of models out there with a separate toilet and shower, but if you're anything but a midget, you're not going to fit in them. So and anyone that's met me knows that I'm a pretty big person. So. I certainly appreciate having a bit of room to actually move around. You've got the shower nozzle that comes out of the tap. And that recessed toilet there as well. Stream contact dispenser, all shelf in there. Fan hatch, so they'll take the steam out when you're in there. There's a kitchen fan hatch as well, all LED lighting throughout. So you get your kitchen fan hatch here, which you just wind up and down. More power points, more little spotlights. The Mercedes definitely is the pick for this size vehicle. Very nice to drive. They've got the um, leather trim that they've added. So they picked the leather colour with us. It's about 20 different colours. Same thing with the cabinet colours and graphics and all of that. So like I said before, we get the... Um, it's got Apple CarPlay, 360 camera. Well, thank you. And there's swivel seats too. So these do swivel around. And there's a table bracket just in the front. <laughs> down here and the table stores in behind here. I might bring that out in another video. 
demonstrate that a customer is going to be any minute to pick this up and they'll be all excited all right just a quick one today guys again that's a sandstone slashback i can't remember what the color is on this one some kind of marble nice looking van these guys will be super happy to uh be picking it up today oh we do have another little bracket on the side of here as well and that's for the um, table so if you do want to set up the, the table back here create like a dining space you can do that all right one more look from the front i think we're done any questions reach out it's a bit of a delay on uh trucks on these too so just like our big ones there's a reasonable waiting time so if you're interested you need to reach out sooner rather than later all right guys enjoy your day thank you